So for today's Monday MA3, I want to look at worlds. So a world is essentially a group of lighting fixtures. It's kind of similar to a group, but very different. I'm going to show you how to use it in a second. And worlds are very useful, um, especially on bigger shows. So let's say if you're working on a bigger show and you have two programmers with two consoles that are linked together, all right? And one of your programmers is programming all of the overhouse stuff, and one of them is programming all the onstage stuff. But you don't want the programmer that's programming the onstage stuff to be able to accidentally program something on the overhouse stuff. And so you make two worlds and assign them to different programmers. They're also kind of helpful um, if you just want to quickly like uh, go into a specific fixture type or a specific group and you know only be editing and be able to edit stuff in there. So. I'm gonna go to my preset tab. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna go to pools and I'm gonna go to worlds. All right. And I'm also going to actually let me clear all of this out. I don't need any of this. But I do need my 3D window. So, all right. So, You'll see here, I already have one world here. This is the world full, and this has everything. You'll see all of my fixtures. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select my X4s. And I'm now going to go store, boom. Add an option, and I'm going to label this name all X4s. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to clear that out. Now I'm going to select all of the VL 2500s or 2600s. And um, I'll go store, boom, edit option. Uh, the L 2600s and now I have two worlds so let's take a look at this so now I'm gonna go into my all X force group or world and you're going to see that I only see my X fours in the 3d window here no other uh, fixtures are showing up and you're also gonna see over here in the 3D world two, all X4. So it tells me that so I don't get confused. And if I go to my fixture sheet, I'm also gonna see the same thing here. I'm not going to see any of the VLs uh, in this world. Um, this fixture sheet only is showing the X4, so that's all that's in the world. If I go to my VL 2600s, it's gonna change. And now I only see my VL 2600s. So you can see how this is a really powerful tool. And if um, used, uh, wisely it can really just help you when you're working on larger shows um, you'll notice that the world that's currently active will have this yellow uh, ring around it that's helpful so you can really tell also something that's interesting is now if I go into my main thing here and let's just uh, put worlds here mm, let's get rid of my macros and I go to you know those there it will block out all of the presets that do not apply to that world so you know you can see here I can't select any of these groups here because it's only the X4s that I can select I can't select any of the gobo stuff or the iris stuff because then none of that is stored in this world and if I go to here the same thing will happen it'll block out those groups it'll block out some of the presets that only have data for the X4s so you can see how this is really, really helpful and really powerful. And you can also see here on the world in this my sequence sheet will also tell me which one is selected. So you can make world combinations with um, different types of fixtures, with different like uh, placement of fixtures. You can have tons of worlds, a couple. Um, a large show will have a lot more than a smaller one, but you can see how this could really help in your programming as well.